G'day and welcome back to the channel. My name's Bruce Simpson. I bring people news about what's happening in the drone industry, in the model flying industry, in the community. This is kind of like the drone model flying news and it's turned into a regular, semi-regular sort of thing. So if this is an area that interests you, then subscribe to the channel and um, you can thank my Patreon supporters because even if this video runs over seven minutes, there are no mid-roll ads thanks to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys. Anyway, moving on. Um, something is going about to happen next week. There is a game-changing move afoot. And if we are to believe the rumors and the speculation, it's all down to DJI. Now, around the world, we have new regulations coming into force everywhere. What is it, next month in the UK? You've got to register your drone if it's between 250 grams and 20 kilograms. Registration is already a thing in Canada, Ireland, the USA. It's going to be a thing in Australia, probably in New Zealand. So it is something that is just spread around the world because politicians don't understand drones and they've been misled by the media who think they've de evil things. So we need to register them just like guns. Well, I don't think you have to register guns in America, but everywhere else you have to register guns. So yeah, this is what's happening. Now, DJI are smart people. I mean, they don't get to be the world's number one consumer drone manufacturer without being very smart people. And they've produced some really good products. I mean, you cannot deny the Mavic is a really extraordinary, uh, you know, recreational grade drone. And the, the Phantom is used for professional things, you know, for, for mapping. And it's got this new LiDAR, what is it, LiDAR? There's all sorts of things. Anyway, the, 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 the DJI products are simply splendid, excellent. That's why they are number one. And DJI is, as I say, very smart. And they've seen an opportunity. And the, the, the speculation would seem to confirm this. And that is that in all these countries where regulation is required, they have a cutoff point, you know, a minimum weight under which things are classified as toys, and that tends to be 250 grams. So if you want to buy a drone, you go and buy a Mavic, you've got to register. If you buy a Phantom 4, you've got to register. If you want to buy a Mavic Air, you've got to register. All these drones weigh more than 250 grams. So I think DJI has spotted a a, an opportunity to produce a drone that weighs less than 250 grams. And all the leaks, all the advanced information suggests that this is what they're released next week, is it's a new Mavic Mini that will weigh less than 250 grams. But again, if we're to believe the rumors and the um, speculation, it will have a th up to 30 minute flight time, four kilometers of range for the video and the radio link. And uh, I think it's, uh, what else is it? It's basically a 2.7K camera perhaps. So it's a pretty competent little craft. And despite its small size, it would be quite capable of doing most of the things that the existing much larger craft would do. Perhaps not as good in a strong or turbulent wind, but you know, most of the time you, you want to fly these things, it's not really, really windy or turbulent. So, hmm. But I think this could mean big changes, big changes within the regulatory framework in most countries because We've been told that the governments don't want you to, or don't, you don't have to register anything less than 250 grams because it's pretty safe. It's probably a toy. It's a toy, it won't pose a threat to people or property. So we don't need to know you're there with your toys. And that's gonna change. I, have, I will bet you any amount of money that will change. Um, I'm expecting, I'm ex and other people who are in a position to know have told me that in the UK, for example, they're gonna change the proposed rules just a little bit, may not happen, before they're brought into effect next month, but it will probably happen by the middle of next year when the EASA regulations come in. And they're going to say, instead of anyone operating a craft that weighs more than 250 grams and 20 kilograms must register, they're gonna add or carries a camera or data recording device. They will want to bring this little Mavic Mini into the registration net. They want to know you've got one. And it's not about safety. It betrays what we've been told as a lie. It's not about safety because adding a camera to a drone doesn't make it unsafe. Cameras don't spontaneously explode. They're not a threat to people or property. They don't change the risk profile of a drone. So why would you add that to the registration requirements? Why would you say, if it's got a camera, you must register it? Because registration is supposed to be about safety. Even though in the UK, the special committee set up by Parliament to give them guidance and recommendation clearly stated that registration does nothing to reduce the risk or change the or increase the safety of the airspace. So again, if they do say, well, we're going to have to include any drone of any weight if it's got a camera, that will just, we should just say, I'm sorry, no, not acceptable. And I expect to see similar things happening in the USA. They'll also add this camera thing because this is not about safety. We know it's not about safety, it's about control. It's about knowing who's got a drone that could in theory be used to find out things that people aren't supposed to find out. Now, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Oh, phone, just a moment. Don't you love it when the phone goes in the middle of a video? <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's all about control. Now, we as 
people, our, our privacy has been lost to surveillance in the name of safety and security. You know, the government says, oh, you got to give up your privacy for safety and security. So we have CCTV cameras all over the place, especially in UK. I think they've got more cameras than people there. And people gladly give up their privacy and their thing in the name of safety and security. But this is where the coin is tossed because the government, the powers that be, don't want the citizens having the same powers to surveil, the same powers to see what's going on. I'll take you to America here. Um, in the USA, there's a lot of very powerful corporates and they lobby very strongly with government. And some of those corporates don't always do good things. And if you look on YouTube, you'll find videos where animal rights uh, groups have used drones to get evidence against some of these large farming operations, showing them breaching the, you know, basically doing bad things. And so it's in the government's interest to know who's got these camera drones that can be doing that. Um, and so I suspect that anything with a camera will be drawn into the net of registration. So they've got control. They know who you are. And then if slash when it comes time to get all those pesky recreational drones out of the national airspace, well, hey, we can do that because now we can Amazon and Google and DHL and UPS. They've got that space. They need that space for delivering pizzas. Very important to deliver pizzas. Far more important than animal rights or people's rights. This is my speculation now. Okay, so we're, we're, this is just, as I say, it's all rumor it's all unsubstantiated we'll just have to wait and see what happens and it's only a matter of time as they say in the airline business so let's wait and see what happens next week with the dji mystery product release and then with the regulators are they going to say yeah we were lying it's not about safety it's all about control so you've got to register your camera drone even if it only weighs 249 grams and if that happens then it really will kill the fpv hobby because we've got nowhere to go there's no lower limit we can duck under as is currently the case. So there you go. I'd like you now to rush off to the comments section on this video and tell me what you think. Firstly, will the mystery product from DJI be the Sub 250 Mavic Mini or is it something completely different? And if slash when this Sub 250 Mavic comes out, how long before we see regulators basically turn around saying, yeah, we were lying. You've got to register your camera drone because it's all about control, not about safety. There you go. Uh, that should stir you up a bit for today. There you go. Thank you again to my Patreons. As I say, they support this channel, make it all possible. New lines of swag coming. And <laughs> the outro to this video will give you a clue and see if you can work out what it means. And if you can work out what it means, put it in the, put it in the comments. Tell me what you think the outro means. And uh, whether it's a, a t-shirt, cap, whatever that you would wear, just to make a statement. In the face of ever-increasing regulation and the removal of our freedoms as model flyers, and they're selling them back to us as a privilege. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.